EFG Science TV, the start of nature, life in an open pit mine, from a lunar landscape to an ecosystem. Coal leaving the Velso South open pit mine. Ancient plant remnants that were deposited deep in the ground over the course of millions of years. Their primary component, carbon. All forms of life, plants and animals, consist largely of carbon compounds. Through photosynthesis, the plants are able to create organic compounds from the carbon dioxide contained in the air. A great amount of organic carbon is stored in forests around the world, both in living plants as well as in the humus layer in the soil. Humus is rich in nutrients for the plants and also stores water very effectively. Thus, it serves a very important function in every ecosystem. But how does humus form in a very young ecosystem? At the start, the Chicken Creek area contained only sand. Alexander Dumig from TU Munich and Roland Spröter from BTU Cottbus are preparing to collect soil samples. The layer in which humus is formed is being more closely examined not only in the Chicken Creek catchment basin but also in dunes of varying ages, such as here in Neuer Lugteich. Right now we're collecting samples from various areas of this sand pile. Areas without vegetation, areas with a little bit of vegetation and areas with dense vegetation. Then we collect a variety of samples. We also pull out some of the plants, shake them and then collect the material that falls out. The plants are packed and the roots then washed. We hope to see differences, for example in areas far from the plant or in those very close to the roots, at the point of action, you could say. The first crusts form on the surface of the soil. They bring the carbon to the raw soil. By analyzing the chemical composition of the carbon compounds, the researchers can draw conclusions on the development of the soil. In this way, the scientists hope to learn what paths the carbon compounds take in the soil. In the experimental area, we are running tests to examine the decomposition of organic mulch or dead plant material, to determine the extent to which it is broken down by bacteria or fungi and then deposit in the ground or directly absorbed by the organisms. At the Helmholtz Center in Munich, plants are marked with a special form of carbon, an isotope, in greenhouses and subsequently dried. They are inserted into the ground through small tubes, where they are slowly decomposed by small soil animals and microorganisms. During this process, the marking with the carbon isotope now wanders through the ecosystem and can be observed by the researchers. The scientists are doing the same thing at the Veltso South open pit mine. Claudia Zimmermann collects soil water for analysis in the laboratory. Humus is important not only for supplying nutrients to plants. The test shows that the crusts can also inhibit the development. For example, in the seepage of water. In such cases, rainwater runs off the surface, taking with it soil material. This results in the formation of erosion gullies. Thus, carbon is the source of all life, as well as the basis for the development of the Chicken Creek catchment basin. But there are still so many unanswered questions. For example, what path does the water take? More on this next time. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.